All right, we have the papers with us, and uh, let's see what uh, headlines uh, are making the rounds at this time. Looking at platform times, uh, the lead story there is uh, from the defense headquarters, uh, which is quoted uh, that court orders release of 313 suspected terrorists for lack of evidence. Other stories read thus, Oshu Governor to issue executive order pardoning unjustly incarcerated women, 137 Kaduna school children rescued, a story we have been following uh, so far, received scholarships, uh, that's uh, another angle there. FCT High Court declares Governor Ododo's affidavit fake in Kogi election tribunal and uh, now that the abducted editor of First News has been released and uh, gone home to his loved ones he is uh, talking about his experience this quote says I was chained in captivity gunmen bomb police station in Anambra states no casualties reported Atiku supporters in Rivers declare support for Tinubu Fubara and Nigeria plunged into darkness again as national grid collapses second time this year. First News says, Tinubu's economic teams get six-month deadline for economic rescue. But the big story there is on the abduction story of uh, the First Newspaper. First News newspaper who has been narrating his ordeal after his release uh, from uh, custody, management hails uh, the National Security Advisor, Information Minister, as well as other bodies, including the Guild of Editors and the Nigerian Union of Journalists. Regarding the slain soldiers, uh, Senior Advocate of Nigeria, Femi Falano, is quoted as saying, it's illegal to declare suspects wanted, as military declares eight, including Monarch, Varsity lecturer wanted. Detained Binance executive takes legal action against the NSA, the EFCC. On alleged fraud, FCT court clears ex AGF Mohamed Adoke in the controversial OPL uh, 245 allegation as trial is underway. This Nigeria says on Okwama killing, it must never happen again. DHQ vows declares eight suspects wanted. Falano false process, gunmen set ablaze police station, local government secretariat in Anambra State. Whisk away policemen as state command denies abduction. Troops kill more than 200 terrorists, abduct 200 or capture 252 in one week in Ebonyi, Anambra and other states. Uh, still on this Nigeria, uh, the Federal Airport uh, Authority of Nigeria shuts down KFC at Lagos Airport over discrimination against a person living with disability. On Ojuku's will, his widow Bianca wins over the estate property. And ahead of the governorship election in Ondo State, one of the front runners, uh, Jimo Ibrahim, joins the race, says he's not afraid of uh, a co-aspirant who is the incumbent governor Loki Aidatua. Front page of Daily Times says DHQ declares physics professor seven others wanted for killing 17 soldiers. That's on the front page of the Daily Times. Says troops will continue to uh, work until the culprits are arrested and tried. Military also releases 313 terror suspects to the Borono State Gov government. On the alleged Malabo oil scam, court discharges ex-AGF, Adoke and others. Reps vowed to recover two government helicopters sold to private individuals. Nigeria is a speculation here. Nigeria may kick out TB tuberculosis that is before 2030. That's according to First Lady Senator Oluremi Tinobu, who is advocating for renewed commitments to eradicating the disease. Blueprint says, 24 hours after burial of slain soldiers, DHQ declares Delta Varsity Prof. Monarch, six others wanted. Uh, 137 Kuriga students aided their rescue. That's uh, according to Buba. 
and on tax evasion binance to others to be arraigned by uh, the federal government and there's also a picture story there uh, celebrating uh, the birthday of President Bola Tinobu. Finally with me is Daily Independent uh, ahead of uh, Labour Parties or still on the National Convention of the Labour Party. It says we follow due process. The Board of Trustees cannot take over party and says the so-called chair of the board and others left the party more than 20 years ago. And DHQ declares the professor woman. Six others wanted over killing of 17 soldiers. Says Kuriga school children played significant role in uh, rescue efforts. Uh, there's also yet another greeting uh, to the president. All right, Ibrahim. Right. <clears throat> the, the first with me here is the new telegraph. Nation in darkness as national grid collapses again. Okwama AFN declares prof, woman, six others wanted, may place bounty on them. Vows incident won't happen again. CBN pegs capital base for banks at 500 billion naira. Uh, Labor, Pri Labor Party crisis, BOT takes over party, dismisses Aburi's convention. We are not aware of any existing BOT as a party. Anik says we don't or we didn't monitor process. Abducted journalist, my hands, legs were cuffed. Next is the Nigerian Tribune. Sekibo, uh, Sekondos, Omehia, others pledge support for Tinobu, Fubara, want wiki cautioned. Hoodlums attack Anambra Divisional Police Headquarters with IEDs. Okwama killings, Defense Headquarters declares eight suspects wanted. How military abducted, chained me for... 14 days, released editor narrates ordeal. Hmm. Zenith, UBA, four others beat benchmark as CBN raises capitalization to 500 billion naira. Exercise presents options, uh, exercise presents options for mergers, acquisition, and public offers. Okwama 17, Delta Monarch surrenders self to police. We can also see the Tantita Security Services celebrating the president at 72. The Guardian newspaper is next. Six months on, uh, six months on, 76 embassies, 109 foreign missions await new envoys. CBN gives banks two years to meet 500 billion naira new capital base. Reps queries OAGF's payments of 15 billion naira to Remita, accuses CBN of complicity. IPI, NGE, NUJ condemn military abduction of journalists seek punishment. The Punch newspaper is next. CBN raises capital base for mega banks to 500 billion naira. Cardoso gives banks 24 months to recapitalize national lenders to raise 200 billion naira, others 50 billion naira. Buhari National Assembly, Sonwulu, others held Tinubu at 72. Delta bloodbath. Military may place bounty on monarch, others declared wanted. Next is the Daily Trust. CBN raises bank's capital base to 200 billion naira. Institutions with international author authorization to raise 500 billion naira. Set 24 months as deadline, uh, or as deadline for recapitalization. Next is Salient Times. CBN pegs minimum capital base for banks at 500 billion naira, gives banks 24 months to recapitalize. Detained Binance executive sues NSA EFCC. Federal government cleared to prosecute Binance to others, fleeing officials, lawyer withdraw. On the bottom strip, workers beat up their Chinese boss over salary. And then how abducted first news editor was released. Atiku's loyalists declared uh, support for Tinobu Fubara. KFC apologizes to Benga Daniel's son over discriminatory treatment. And above the masthead, military declares monarch physics prof. Militant's mother wanted over murder of soldiers. Hoodlum set a number of police station ablaze. Next is the Nation newspaper. Bank mergers likely as CBN directs 500 billion naira capital base. Apex Bank expects roadmap by April 
the 30th, financial institutions get March 31st, 2026 deadline. Uh, Labour Party disowns NLC energized board of trustees. We didn't monitor program, uh, says INEC. Lawmakers defect to PDP. Tinobu lifting Nigeria to enviable highs, says uh, say Buhari, governors, others. Eminent Nigerians celebrate president at 72. On the bottom strip, my life no longer safe, says journalist freed from military custody. And above the masthead, monarch surrenders. Prof, six others wanted over soldiers killing. Quality of work on Lagos Calabar Coastal Road excites Mahi. Renewed Hope Initiative lifts anti tuberculosis campaign with 1 billion naira. Nigeria News Direct is next. Bank recapitalization. CBN increases minimum capital base of banks by eightfold. Pegs capital base for banks with international authorization at 500 billion naira. Issues deadline of April the 30th for banks to submit implementation plan. Naira appreciates to 1,280 to the dollar as CBN slashes customs duty rate by 2.9%. Okwama Kiddins, Army declares eight wanted. Aburi's re election. INEC rejects convention as BOT announces takeover. KFC tenders apology as Nigerians differ on fan shutdown of outlets. Media lend, uh, leaders kick against military abduction as editor regains freedom after 13 days in detention. Abiodo Abdurazak Commission or inaugurate Shion Owode Road. Next is Business Day newspaper. Data, diesel, grains, how Ukraine Gaza wars affects Nigerians. Here are some banks that will pay dividends for 2023. Investigation Nigerians battle long, grueling path to doctor's appointment. You can read that up on the, uh, on the front page of the Business Day newspaper. Sporting Live, the nation Sporting Live. 2026 World Cup qualifiers, Ekong, Eyes Super Eagles, June clashes, could feature against South Africa, Benin Republic. Uh, Grealish, Rashford, in danger of missing out on Euro 2024. Chelsea, face five fresh fitness concerns ahead of Burnley game. Amunike Finidi, make seven-man shortlist. Foreign coaches dominate list. New coach could earn $80,000 per month. Club reveals Becker's return date. Man United ready to sell Van de Beek for £8.6 million. Pounds. Last but not least is the Nature News newspaper. Over 780 million people hungry as 1 billion meals are wasted daily. UN report. 4,000 farmers receive disease-resistant but Potato seedlings in Plateau State. Governor Ododo allots 1,200 hectares to boost cassava farming in Kogi State. Energy Commission empowers women with Dean Cooking Solution. Barrister Williams explains why ERA and FOEN is opposed to oil coins divestments in Nigeria. Britain stinks with record breaking. 464,056 sewage spill, uh, spill incidents. And African countries fail to meet WHO air pollution prevention guidelines. Last but not least is fact check. Can cashew tree bark neutralize snake venom? You can read that up to get that uh, interesting um, answers to that question. Absolutely. <clears throat> there you have it. All the stories are, you know, begging to be read, so to speak. All right.